If you're brand new to selling on Amazon, you're just getting started doing online arbitrage, this may be the most important video you ever watch because it's going to keep you from getting scammed. There are thousands of websites out there that all they want to do is steal your money, steal your credit card information, and even steal your identity. This video right here, we're going to look at four different websites that you can use to protect yourself from getting scammed. All right, good people, let's go ahead and just get right into it. I wanna show some real life examples that we can use with these different websites that I'm gonna show you here. So I got Celerant pulled open. We're gonna look through some of these products and see if we can't pinpoint some websites that might potentially scam you. So I picked a completely random seller to go through here and start looking at their products and we're gonna pop them open at random. We're gonna check them out on Amazon. $29.95 is the current buy box. If we can find this product on the internet anywhere, for less than 13 bucks, we could potentially have some profit in it. So what's the first thing you do when you come across a product like this is you do a little Google search. So I'm just going to hit this little G button on Ace and Gadget, and it's going to pull up the shopping results over on Google. And we get a whole list of different websites, but some of these websites could in fact be scams. Now we can see definitely that there are some legit websites selling this product, Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom. This looks like it's the actual brand's website. But if you're not familiar with the product, like this particular product, I'm not familiar with it. I'm not familiar with the brand. I don't know what it is, what it's used for. This can make it more difficult because you're gonna come across a bunch of websites that you've never heard of. For instance, I've never heard of Credo. I've never heard of Milk and Honey, the Detox Market, Beauty Heroes. They do have rankings here, a little bit of feedback, 816, 816 which that's kind of weird that all of them say 816. But if you want to protect yourself, run these particular websites through these four websites that I'm going to show you. So let's kick it off with this website right here, credobeauty.com. I'm not personally familiar with it. Maybe you are, but when you come across websites that you're not familiar with, you need to do a little more digging, especially if the pricing of that product appears too good to be true. The first thing that you want to do is check the domain history. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to copy the URL of this website and I'm going to go over to who.is, plug that website right in there and do a little digging into the domain information. It's going to tell you where that domain was registered. In this case, it was GoDaddy. It's going to tell you when it was registered, 2011. This company, this website, definitely has a history here. So that's mostly what I'm looking for with the domain search here. If it's a recently registered website, I may not go for it. I may need to dig further in order to make sure I'm not going to get scammed. I do also like to see where that company may be located. If it's in here in the United States, I'm a little bit more comfortable dealing with that website. If it's overseas, you may want to stay away as well. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next site that you can use, which of course is Trustpilot. Again, you can go in here, paste in the website, do a quick search. Here it is, Credo Beauty 3.4 star rating. Let's click on it and get some more detailed information. Here we can actually look at some of the feedback for that site. So in the case of this website, there's only four reviews and they're average at 3.4 star rating. We can actually go down here and look at some of the reviews. Look at this one here. I placed several items in my cart only and half of them were out of stock, so frustrating. Uh, it looks like this was all about placing an order and not necessarily uh, getting scammed. So we're gonna disregard that and kind of look into these a little bit more. This is a positive review here, a positive review, and another positive review. A lot of times these reviews can leave you a little bit more confused than not, but what I like to see is a good mix of reviews. And if it does have some of these negative one-star reviews, I want to make sure that it's not because of, you know, never receiving their product or having to get a refund or having issues trying to get a refund. Some of those issues like that with customer service, especially are red flags that you might want to stay away. In this case, this looks like it was just about items going out of stock. I can kind of disregard this and we can look a little bit more further into this website. All right guys, moving on from Trustpilot, the next site that you can use as a resource is going to be Scam Advisor. Again, we're just gonna plug in that domain, we're gonna hit search, and Scam Advisor is gonna give us more information. It's saying that the trust rating is high, so the site is possibly legit. If you scroll down, you can get more information on this particular site. So it's got some positive highlights here. The website is deemed to be popular. The website has received positive reviews. The SSL certificate is valid. The website is very old. Again, it was established in 2011. And then it has negative highlights here. It's saying that the owner of the website is using a service to hide their identity of their domain, which this is not abnormal. I personally do this on some of my domains. I do hide my information and keep it private. 
so that I don't have different businesses and entities contacting me on my phone, sending me emails, trying to sell me services. So that's not out of the ordinary. It's perfectly normal to hide your domain registered information just because you don't want your public information out there and people contact you all the time. So overall, Scam Advisor is saying that this is a legit site. Now, the last website we're going to check out is similar to Scam Advisor. It's called Scam Doc and it runs kind of similar to it, right? You just go in, you plug in that website and you hit analyze and it's going to analyze that history of that domain. So we got a 93 positive rating here with Scamdog. It's telling us that the trust index is good, that there's a low risk of any issues with this website. It breaks down the reasons why I gave it that 93% rating, even the bad thing, which is of course we already know, was that the domain registered information is in fact private. You scroll down here and you can see more information on that domain. Again, registered date, when it expires, just giving you more confidence in this site. Guys, these are the websites that are gonna help protect you from getting scammed. Scam, Scam Doc, Scam Advisor, Trust Pilot, Who Is are all going to give you more information on that particular product. Now, you don't have to sit here and go through each and every one every single time. Definitely use a combination of at least two just to get a little bit more accuracy, a little bit more detailed history. But if you want the easiest solution to making sure you're not getting scammed, Here's what I suggest. All right, guys, so there's a tool that I use, a Chrome extension, to do exactly what I just showed you, but do it with a click of a button. It's a lot easier, a lot faster, and if you're doing a lot of research, a lot of sourcing, if you're clicking through, looking at a lot of websites, this is definitely gonna help save you time. Now, this isn't the only thing that this Chrome extension does. It does a ton of stuff that will be helpful to you in your online arbitrage business. This is just one piece, but the Chrome extension that I'm talking about is called ASIN Gadget. It's up here. I just click the little G button and I want to click on this magnifying glass right here. I click on that and boom, we got the who is information of this website. 2011, again, it's given us the same information that we just looked at. It's got the trust pilot, boom, four reviews. It's given us, again, the same information that we just looked at. And finally, Scam Advisor is telling us that the trust rating is high and it has a low risk, all with a click of a button. We can go through here and look at other websites. What about the detox market? Let's pop that open. And we're gonna hit Ace and Gadget again. Go to the little search. You can see this one was registered in 2011. Trustpilot has six reviews. This is a poor rating. We can go through and look, returns beware, shady business, great company, but unethical review practices kind of felt ripped off by the samples. So these reviews are giving me a cause for concern. I don't know that I would want to order from the store because it looks like we may have some possible issues with it. We can also look at Scam Advisor here. Scam Advisor is saying the trust rating is high and it must be safe. I think Scam Advisor is really basing that information off of that domain registered information being that it's been registered since 2010 it doesn't expire to 2025 it just has a few bad reviews here through trust pilot which may cause you to be a little bit wary of the site all right guys i hope this video helped you out if it did please throw a like on it and subscribe to this channel if you are not already and if you want to go out and get ace and gadget there's a link in the description to do that when you do that through my link i'm going to hook you up with my ungating guide this is a guy that has helped hundreds of sellers Get ungated in major brands and categories, and I'm going to give it to you for free when you get Ace and Gadget with my link. It's a great deal. You should definitely take it because Ace and Gadget does a lot of cool stuff for any online arbitrage business. It helps make sourcing just a little bit easier. My name is Josh. EverydayFBA.com is the website. Protect yourself at all costs. Don't get scammed, and I'll catch you on the next one.